Hey everybody, it's all the fan 314 here today to explain to you guys how to stream a game or maybe a text box or combine a webcam with something else. Basically something where you can't just plug in a webcam to Justin TV or you stream and then have it stream something if you want to do more than that. So first thing you'll need if you want to stream like say a Wii or an Xbox or PS two or three if you have the cables. You'll need the, the the RCA cables most. Video game consoles use this standard of course. And but if you want high def you'll need to buy a different capture card that has uh, <coughs> HDMI or whatever ports on it. And I'm not sure exactly how that works. Anyways, so you'll need a capture card. I use EasyCap, the cheapest one on the market. It's like ten dollars. It does its job for the most part. <coughs> Sound lags sometimes if you record for too long, but it's a pretty good capture card for the price. Uh, if you want something better, you can save up for a Dazzle or an Elgato. Those are better capture cards overall. And if you're on a Mac, this works. Just use Video Glide. And if you're buying a Dazzle for Mac, uh, I would recommend just buying the PC one that works with Mac if you download the software from their site. But don't hold me accountable if it doesn't work. That's just what I heard. Anyways, so basically the reason why I'm showing you this is because you'll want to be able to stream the game to your computer and at the same time you're going to want to be able to view it on your TV and play it on your TV. So for that, you'll need a splitter like this. Basically, you plug in a uh, male RCA there, and it goes into the female, and then it splits it to two males. And this is about $3 on Amazon. <clears throat> uh, there's cheaper ones, but you'll have to pay shipping. I'll put some links in the description for some stuff like this. And so basically what I'm talking about is you split the yellow, the video. Now I put this on the tripod. So yeah, you got your splitter here, and this is your yellow cord, your video. And you plug it in there, and it splits it to two. And one of them will go to the capture card. It was in the yellow. And the other one will go to your TV. But see, this is kind of short. Like, this won't stretch all the way to your TV and to your computer. So what you have to do, if it's too short, like if you can manage, then you don't need this bit. It's too short, you're going to want to buy a coupler, which is basically a female to female RCA cable, like this, and you plug that in there. And then you get an extender like this. Like, they have one, just one, and then they also have them in sets of three, like this. Yeah. And also, these couplers, I recommend buying a set of three, they hook together and three splitters, but I only split video since I don't care about audio, but yeah. And so basically you plug that in there, and then this goes to your TV, and you plug this into your computer, and you're set to go. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to do this, but this is my personal way. And then for audio, I just set it to go straight to the capture card. Or if your TV has audio out, then you can just uh, use a cord like this, the one I just showed you, and just use these two. And then you can set it from the out to your capture card, and it'll still output from your TV, I think. Depending on your TV, for mine it does. And, yeah, you just uh, mute your speakers. And then, um, on your computer. And this works fine, and if you want it, if your computer doesn't want odd doesn't have audio out and you want it to output on your TV too, you'll need to buy two more splitters and two more couplers. They have them in, they have the couplers in sets, so it's not that expensive. But yeah, that's how I do it. Um, and now I think I will go over to my computer screen and show you how to mix everything on the computer. Alright, hey everybody, it's me again. And this time I'm on the computer showing you how exactly you're going to mix all this stuff together on your computer. 
and this is just me recording my voice here. <clears throat> Anyways, so you're gonna need a software called Cam Twist. Well, first, yeah, just open Cam Twist. And this is free software for the Mac. This is for the Mac, by the way. I'll offer some tips for PC users at the end, but I have not tried any of that stuff, so I wouldn't know if it works or not. And here's Cam Twist. If you hit Tools Preview, you can see your preview box. We'll get back to that later. So anyway, next you want to open your capture card software. Like if you're using Dazzle, it's Pinnacle software, or if you're using Elgato, it's Video Capture, and if you're using EasyCap, it's Video Glide Capture. And here we have the screen of my Wii right now. Plugged it in. And so basically what you're going to do now, it won't recognize it as a webcam, but if you choose Desktop Plus and Refresh, and you can select the uh, Video Glide Capture, and if you look on the preview, you have to say Confine to Single Application Window like that, and you'll see it. The Depending on your resolution you have set in your capture card program, it'll look different on there. And, yeah. But if you hit PIP, then it'll actually let you move it around. You have to reset it to that window again. Uh, there we go. And, yeah, and you can, like, if you see the top of the window, it depends. You can crop it like that however you like and you can make it bigger up here and move it around you can put it up there and say like you want to do something like we did with uh, on our marathon where we had like the donation amount the current game and stuff well you would just open a text document and make it big type big and just say for now test or something like that and then you would add another desktop plus picture in picture and you would say confined to that window which is like that and then you would like <clears throat> modify it a little bit crop it down so it would just be a text box and then make it bigger or whatever and move it wherever you want yeah, you get what I mean, and uh, that's just video, this only handles video, and you can also do a webcam if you wish, like you can plug in a webcam or for computer has a webcam built in, Flickr set, movies, whatever, and yeah, that's how you do it, if you want webcam, you just hit webcam pip and you do what I just did for the desktop plus stuff, and what's nice about this is even if you move this around, it doesn't change the capture the screen recording place so it snaps to the window at all times so that's handy and that's only s uh, the that's just the video now I'll get to the audio so basically the audio is a lot more complicated and you'll need a software called Soundflower it's basically a utility. There's something called Soundflower Bed, but it's not really used. I don't really use it. It's just to show you what's hooked up. So basically, you download it, and it's just like a utility. And basically, what it does is it's basically like a virtual audio router, sort of. Like, you can put inputs in it, and then mix them all into one output to something. And, yeah, it's pretty useful. And you also need something called Line-In line in. You'll need a few of them depending on what exactly you want to do, but just get a few of them for handiness. Basically what it does, don't pass through. It passes through stuff. So basically, right now, I'll try to explain this as best as possible. Right now, the game audio is coming out from my system computer speakers, and to capture that, I go into my sound preferences and system preferences, and I set the output to go. I set 
the Soundflower 16 channel, and basically what that does is it routes the game audio or anything that's coming out of your speakers to Soundflower, and then you can go into your uh, line in, and if you want to route your microphone to that also, you can select the input from your mic, and then go to Soundflower, and then you hit pass through and it'll pass through the sound flower and then you'll have a mix of your mic and the game on going to sound flower and then from then you just go into your uh recording I mean your streaming program like Ustream producer I go over that later or wherever you're using and you select sound flower 16 channel as the source and this is this line in program is also useful if you if you're streaming anything else from your computer and then you want to actually hear it so you set it to go to output you just, your computer is outputting to the Soundflower already directly and then you just pass through your computer's output to your computer's speakers and then you can actually hear what you're out what you're playing on your computer if you're like playing music or something and Soundflower 16 channel is what you're going to want to use. It lets you mix more than two channels. Sorry if this is kind of hard to understand. If you've got any questions, please comment below. And yeah, if I have, if I have anything else to note here, I'll just put it into the after this part. And there's also a bunch of different effects in Cam Twist that you can use, like... IRC chat, you can overlay a chat onto your thing, and there's lots of cool stuff, lots of cool possibilities here, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time, please comment, rate, and subscribe, see you later, yeah, and if I have anything else, I'll just put it in after this, thanks everybody. Okay, I actually do have something else to note here. I actually forgot to explain how exactly I actually streamed everything. So basically, if you're using Ustream Producer... Oh, wait. Yeah, and then also I forgot to explain that you can... When you're mixing stuff in Soundflower, you can actually change the volume of each channel. So say you're, you're streaming your voice and a game... At the same time, and the game is too loud and you can't hear your voice, you can change that around. And as for streaming, if you're using Ustream, you can download Ustream Producer for free from their website. And it's pretty simple. If it'll open, that would be nice. Alright. And basically what you do is you just set the video source to cam twist down there and then you can do echo and then you can set your live audio input to soundflower 16 channel right there and that's pretty simple you just type in your username and password and if you're using justin tv then you there's an option if you don't want to use your web thing there's an option on the mac to use quicktime broadcaster and there's Adobe FME on the PC. If you're using a PC, I recommend using Audio Webcam Max for mixing instead of Cam Twist. I heard that's good. And in here, you can just set the video source to uh, Cam Twist, just like you did in Producer. And the audio to Downflower 16 channel. And here's all the network settings. I'll just blur that out. It's basically, the password is JTV, and the other settings, I don't quite remember how to get off of my head, so you, I'll, get, I'll give you guys a link to find out where to get that information from your account, and I think that's about it, and you just hit broadcast once you've got all the settings, and there's video settings you can set to make the quality better, I'll give you a link to them. How to exactly set those, this isn't the best. I just was messing around. Anyway, so see you guys later, and thanks for watching. Bye bye now.